now, this is the famous Fort San Pedro located in this mesmerizing place of Plaza Independencia in Cebu City. Did you know that Fort San Pedro is triangular in shape? It has two sides facing the sea while the third side is facing the land. The sides facing the sea were safeguarded with cannons while the front with a strong fence made with wood. Its three bastions are named in Spanish Catholic terms, namely La Concepcion for the southwest, Ignacio de Loyola for the southeast, and San Miguel for the northeast. Fourteen cannons were settled at their locations and most of them are still here today. Let's go and see them for ourselves. One of the facts about Fort San Pedro is that its architecture and appearance was made of wood. Yes, it was a wooden fort and was constructed after the Gatsby Expedition in 1565. Wait, 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 you guys forget about really something important. What? Who is Gatsby? Well, the Fort San Pedro or Fuerte de San Pedro in, in Spanish, a military defense structure here in Cebu was built by the Spaniard under the command of Miguel Lopez de Legazpi, the first governor of Captaincy, President of the Philippines. But why though? Miguel de Legazpi ordered to build Fort San Pedro to protect all the natives here in Cebu against the Moro riders. Since then, it has become the military strategic point of the Spaniard during that time. Now let's go back to our tour. At the end of the 19th century, during the Philippine Revolution, the fort was attacked and taken by the Filipino revolutionaries who used it as a stronghold. Now, I am here in the Fort's Museum, where the legacies of Spanish government and well preserved Spanish artifacts like documents, paintings, and sculptures are in display. Its interesting point is each display is telling a unique tale from the past. And this large room right here in the port is now being used for functions like weddings, birthdays, and other occasions. But of course, certain permits and requirements should be approved first by the designated personnel. Now, we'll show you the view of the surroundings as we go up there. Let's go count the cannon first. Have you guys noticed? Port San Pedro is extremely clean and serene, which adds more to its beauty. Well, another fact about this place is that its cleanliness and the stone is now under care and custody of the civil city government. So. The land where the port is now situated is owned by the Department of Environment and Natural Resources. As we walk through its grandeur, we can hope but marvel at the skilled craftsmanship that went into crafting this beautiful place and the fact that it was created as protection. As we come to an end of our journey through Fort San Pedro, we can't help but 
feel deep appreciation for the generation that paved the way for us. These remnants of the past hold timeless stories that remind us of our roots and the importance of preserving heritage. Thank you for joining us this memorable exploration of Fort San Pedro. So remember to subscribe our channel and hit that notification bell as we continue to dive into the depths of history and uncover the untold stories that shapes our world. Until next time!